Hello, my name is Walid and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be making chicken with rice. The ingredients are one whole chicken, four medium sized red onions, about four cups or one kilo of basmati rice. These are some of the spices that we will be using whole. We have one stick of cinnamon, whole cardamom, some bay leaves, and one black lime, and some cloves of garlic. Here I'll be using about six. Next, we will have the powdered spice. We have obviously salt and black pepper, some cumin, some coriander powder, and some turmeric powder. These spices should be easy to find in most stores. If you have any difficulties of finding these spices, let me know in the comment where are you from and where are you having difficulties finding these spices the preparation that you have to do for this recipe is so minimum all you have to do is cut up your chicken cut up your onions and cut up your garlic that's it now you can leave the chicken as a whole, but the cooking process will differ slightly. I think it's much easier to cut up the chicken. That's why I did it this way. To the stove now, we will add a little bit of oil. Wait until it's hot and then add in your chicken pieces. Be careful of splashing oil. Brown your chicken on all sides, making sure that you move them around so they don't stick. Once you're happy with the browning of the skin and you have no uncooked pieces of chicken, you can now remove them from the pan and set them aside. Once that all the chicken is out of the pan, you can add in the chopped red onion. Start mixing the onions in the oil until they soften a little bit. Until they reach about this stage. This will be your cue to add in the 
powdered spices and the whole spices together. Mix in that well. The mixing of the spices should not take that long. It should be done for a few minutes until you can smell the aromas. Once you're happy with the mixing, you can now return the chicken pieces. Make sure that the chicken is mixed in well with the spices and the onions until they change color and absorb the spices. If I had to put the timer on it, mixing the chicken with the onion and the spices, I would say a few minutes of mixing is enough, about three minutes. That's it. Now it's time to add some room temperature water to cover the whole chicken. Once your pot is filled with water, it's time to adjust the salt. Stir in that salt and mix up all the spices in the water. Cover and let it simmer for half an hour on low heat. While your chicken simmers away on low heat, it's time to wash and clean your basmati rice until the water becomes clear and then soak it in the water. If you don't know how to wash and soak your rice, your basmati rice, make sure that you watch one of my older videos with a rice recipe where I show you how to do it. After the half hour of cooking, this is what your pot would look like. It's time to add in the rice. Your rice should have soaked for about half an hour. Also, don't forget to drain the water before adding your rice. Finally, to adjust the water to rice ratio, I would recommend aiming for a quantity that will just cover the surface of the liquid. At the beginning of your cooking endeavor, this might be hard, but don't worry. If you have more water than rice, then adding a few dry unsoaked basmati rice would not help. The same goes if you have too much rice and little liquid, no harm would be done by adding more water. With practice and repeat, you will adjust the water and rice automatically without even noticing it. Keeping with the low heat, we will now cover and let the rice cook for about 10 minutes. After the 10 minutes of cooking, let it sit off heat for another 10 minutes to cool down. After the 10 minutes, this would be the result. Serving suggestions, you can definitely eat the rice and chicken with no sauces or if you prefer a little cake, you can sprinkle some chili flakes. Yeah. 
or in my case I prefer to serve it with some tomato sauce this tomato sauce is very simple it's just blended in tomatoes with or without skin this was our recipe for today I hope you try it and enjoy it if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give us a thumbs up it really helps us out and consider subscribing to the channel if you like cooking and share this video with anybody who's looking for a rice recipe thank you for watching